So this time in the tutorial, we're going to talk about localization of the application. And I'm going to start with our existing application. That's uh, the ratios application. I'm going to show you how to localize all of these entries to a different language. So we have a special localization tab here in the resource editor, specifically here. And we need to add a bundle, similarly to how we add things in general. We can have several bundles like this. Uh, the name isn't really of much consequence other than in uh, the code itself. You can have several different bundles, so you can apply them based on um, application logic. In case you have lots of long texts and things like that, you w might want to split it into multiple bundles. As you can see, I have a key and EN. EN is uh, short for English, uh, standard ISO code. And you can add additional locales, and I'll add Hebrew, uh, IW. And that way, the key uh, will map to the values in the specific languages. Now, I have a nice tool here that allows me to automatically import all of the entries from the UI builder. Although, at this particular instance, I won't do that. And instead, I'll just show you how to localize. I can now go to any label button, checkbox, radio button, anything of that variety, and I'll have a localized entry. And here I'll have the bundle name. If I have more than one bundle, this will be enabled. And here I can just write uh, the text in English, which in this case is those. Sorry, those. And the text in Hebrew, which in this case is uh, uh, Batsakim. Uh, like this. Now, as you can see, this didn't update, but if I go into the GUI build, the preview itself, I now have Hebrew as an option here. I can select English or Hebrew. It doesn't update on the fly. You need to actually reload, but you see the text here was updated seamlessly. So I'll show it to you in English, so just so it'll be obvious that this works. That's it. So I can essentially force any language I want, and it will be applied automatically. Now, Hebrew is more complex than that. Hebrew, Arabic, and similar languages uh, support a feature called RTL. So I'll just show you how that works. We can just type in uh, RTL like this and define it to be false in English and true in Hebrew. This is a, the at symbol here is a special case for RTL. Now, when I load the application again in Hebrew, you'll notice that everything is reversed because Hebrew is a language that's written from right to left. So seamlessly, everything aligns automatically to the opposite, even the tabs in the tab pane, uh, even swiping the tabs to the different direction. Even that works as expected. Um, and that, that's part of how RTL is supposed to work generally. Um, now I'll show you another aspect here, which is sync with UI, which essentially automatically imports all your UI setting um, keys and values right into here. As you can see, everything here is still in English, but it's often more convenient to just go like this and edit the, the language as you would see fit, like, uh, um, What's ingredients and in, uh, uh, cancel, for instance, is uh, batel and various other entries like that. And when you go and uh, see the specific entry, um, then you you will see it localized right here, uh, right here. That is. Now, uh, one more thing to keep in mind about localization is that. Uh, is that sometimes you want to give the localization to an external individual to actually uh, manage this, because you might not know all the different languages that um, might be supported. So you would want to export uh, the content of uh, this uh, property file 
into whatever file name and you will get essentially a standard Java properties file which is slash u terminated and then after the lo localization house uh, does its thing and gives you back a corrected properties file you can just import it back again and will override the current locale so you need to select the locale to override like for instance I want to add Russian so I'll just export my English locale and later on when I want to add the locale I'll just add uh, RU RU and just uh, press import no, sorry, I'll need to select RU here and then do import and I'll get the new locale and that will just update everything right here to the Russian so that that's generally localization in uh, Luet. You can add properties, remove properties, edit, and edit as a HTML as well in case you want to actually write uh, long text for some things. And um, that's about it generally about uh, the localization. So I'll show you some other things next time.